Oh, it's so quiet up here. I love it. It's a nice break. It gets too quiet after a while, but... Geez, I do get tired of all the truck noise and stuff at the rest area, that's for sure. This is a nice change. From one extreme to the other. Super loud to super quiet. So, I'm going to catch up on sleep before I do anything. And, uh, got some work to do. Got about a week. And I'll be out of here. Up on some editing, too. Be nice. Get everything charged. On all the... Got my cameras charged, get the phone charged. Oh, it's been nice. Yes, finally getting into the warmer weather. It's still pretty much hoodie weather out there right now. I have to go out, still go outside with the coat on, but I'm done with the thermals. This RV just takes in a ton of sun. You go down and get some of that Reflectix and cover this up. This is, I can feel it. it. Feels like a heater's on over here. Yeah, pretty hot in here right now. But oh man, it feels good warming my bones. We'll get about a few more days of this and then back to the rain, but no more thermals, no more cold nights. That's got me really happy. All right, getting some more organizing done. Again, put some toolboxes down below so I can make room for the hand truck. While I was out boondocking, I realized that would actually be useful. Get it for, uh, probably going to order a couple solar panels, and that'll be handy to wheel those back to the RV. Oh. I did not, apparently did not have any more of this lighter blue, so I was just supposed to touch up this bottom portion, but to make it match, I just painted up to the line, and then I got lazy and started painting the metal. I don't think it really matters at this point. This isn't going to turn out to be what I thought it was going to be. Last time this was working, it had solar panels, charge controller, and an inverter. I thought that's what we were doing, making another like battery bank. It's had a battery bank on the front too. So the wires came through and there's a box. But I guess those are 
it's got some kind of idea about putting this up there with the solar panels on it and those are going to going to connect to the RV he's got a fifth wheel up there which has batteries and the controllers in that so I don't know he just wants to run power all the way from the trailer to the RV and not have anything in here anymore and if you put everything back in here it could be a rolling source of AC voltage to run power tools or whatever but I don't know he's not really listening to me this wasn't as cool that's not gonna turn out as cool as I thought it would have been it's just gonna have some panels on top and connect it with the cord a whole lot more sense, just, I don't know, whatever, I don't care anymore. Got those older batteries stored, those two that I saved, they were, uh, those drained down to 12.5 in a matter of a week without a load on it, so those are just, those are done. I'll keep them uh, set aside for core charges if I ever get more batteries in the future. So I got three batteries now I can turn in for a core, the original RV battery and then those two Marines. Oh, so yeah, anyway, it's a nice day. I just finished up painting. Let's go down and check out the lower part of the property. There's the original solar trailer. You see, you had the wiring, came out from the solar, came out to a charge controller. There's an inverter right here. It's like, I don't know why you don't just do that. But Horses are doing good. Mm. This is kind of grown in. Size. Let's see how these trails are doing. Probably all growing out. Oh, there's some deer. Thought I was seeing some fresh, some fresh tracks here. What's up, deeries?
put a little bamboo sprout down here somewhere. I wanted to see if I can get it to go. It's kind of dry at the time. Put it in the wettest part I could find, which is this little creek running through. Thought it'd be cool to make a little bamboo forest. It's actually out there on that kind of island thing. But I don't think it took. I just want to check and see. It's just a little sprout. I wasn't uh, really trying too hard. I just it's either. I kinda thought it would die anyway, so I just thought I'd try and put it somewhere. But I don't think it took off. Stable. It's a long way down. So that hole gets bigger every year. Yeah, I think I put it like I, think I put it like right here somewhere. Yeah, I don't think it took off. You'd see it by now. This is a good spot for bamboo. That just wasn't really a healthy ceiling, and I just felt bad throwing it away, so I thought I'd just try and plant it. He wants to make a ram pump down here at some point, which would be fun. Probably wouldn't have enough to do anything during the summertime. This all dries up and stops flowing. But uh, during the winter time, I could probably store some in a water container of some sort. Just so he has a little bit of water for the down here. I don't know why. I think they wanted to do want to do uh, some lawn and put down some nice grass seed and do some landscaping down here. So it'd be handy. God, it's a beautiful view. This is the kind of property I would want. Overgrown, but beautiful. Just land. Don't need no power, no nothing. I got an RV, that's what that's for. Eventually. It's kind of pretty, all the grass growing in. It looks like a meadow. Or is that technically a meadow? I don't know. But it's pretty. Ooh, watch out for those widowmakers. Be actually a little dangerous right now. Walking these trails. I love this t shirt weather, it's warm ish, probably like 68, 65. Sixty-four. Sixty-four degrees Fahrenheit.
tree. Moss tree. These are all mossy trees, but that one's ultra fuzzy. All right, cool. Got a little walk in. Let's head back, finish up what I'm doing. Got a couple more days to rest up and head out of here. Peeling some more of these eggs. Got about six I'm gonna go ahead and throw in here and I'll boil up the rest and save those for sandwiches or maybe see how many I could fit in here. My new favorite thing is these pickled eggs. I'm loving them. I think I got them as old as two weeks. And each week it's like a, about a millimeter. You can see the green soaking in through the yolk. And the more uh, the older they were, the more pickly they were. So I'm going to try and keep these in here like a month and see how they are. Yeah, I'm having fun with this though. It's, it's good. I just, uh, for breakfast, had two pieces of wheat toast with butter and two pickled eggs. It was great. Never had a breakfast like that before. Simple. Easy. Cut out the mayo, so that's probably good. A little bit healthier of a breakfast, maybe. Not too worried about it. And, uh, nope, not poking them with the toothpick anymore. Y'all saying uh, it's bad, you get bacteria inside them. That makes sense. I just I had seen a pickling, egg pickling video, and the lady was poking them with toothpicks. Said it helped penetrate the egg better. But, yeah, I did not see any difference with the poked toothpicks versus the non-poked ones. I can tell. They didn't look at all like they were soaking in through the hole I made with the pick. But, uh... Definitely just kind of does that all on its own. Seems like uh, the older they got, the better the pickling juice got through the yolk. Alright, six eggs. I'll let that sit a while. More than two weeks this time, and we'll try and go a month. I don't suppose anybody knows that this pickling juice needs to be replaced every once in a while. I think I will probably dump a little bit out and put some... Uh, I have a sliced pickle jar that I could put some fresh pickle juice in there. But I don't know if it matters. Let me know if anybody knows. Pickled eggs, yeah. It's freaking awesome. I like them. <laughs> 